five mistakes to avoid when you are traveling solo. Hey guys, this is Pithika and welcome to my channel. Welcome to another tips video. In today's video, we will be talking about five mistakes to avoid when you are traveling solo. It's not only about solo. These are mistakes, these are common mistakes. So solo traveling is really fun, really amazing, but it's important that you keep your head high, wits and a little bit of firmness to know what's happening around, be aware of it and that's it. With that, let's start with tip number one. Avoid arriving late at night. Now, being a girl or a boy doesn't really matter. The main idea of not arriving at night is that the availability of services, for example, transportation and accommodation, you might have faced or you might face problem while searching for any kind of transportation. And if you avoid late also, uh, you might not be able to catch your uh, transport for the next destination. So there are a lot of challenges when you arrive late at night. So when you're planning your trip, booking your flights make sure that you are arriving at sun sunlight like the day daylight and yes that's it tip number two being ignorant of the culture where you are traveling so this happened a lot of time with people i have seen who have been traveling with me like the co-travelers maybe i don't know them so they're not aware of the culture of the place and in some places in some temples you are not uh, allowed to wear sleeveless dresses or in some places you must not smoke or these are the kind of simple things so when you're traveling a place just have a uh, research about how the people are you know there are countries uh, where you need to put a scarf when you are going out so respect that culture because at the end of the day you do not want things to turn sour okay and you are moving out of your own culture so what you are exactly doing you are going to a new culture so it's also a learning you know you learn a lot of new culture how people are you don't have to take back home but it's just a learning that is inside you and respecting it while you are traveling while you're into that place is a big thing because uh, it's 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 not for yourself it's also for the safety because if a group of people turn against you or say you something that you might not like it so it might you know feel a little negative while you're tra uh, traveling and also uh, I feel like if somebody comes to your home and they do not follow your own culture you might feel sad and you might you know answer them accordingly so it's important that when you're traveling solo respect the culture wherever you are going Let's talk about tip number three. Not preparing beforehand. Well, we all prepare before our trips. There is no doubt about it. But I also know people who want to be that adventurous one. Just take a bag, put it whatever you have and just move. For solo traveling, of my years of traveling experience, I can tell you, you must have a basic idea about your travel plans. Yes, it is important, especially if you're a woman. Starting from where are you going? Okay, a minimum booking. I know people love uh, couch surfing or going for hostels and hopping into, but have a basic idea and list of hotels or sorry, list of hostels or the couch surfing where you want to do it. So have an idea. Second of all, have an idea about the expenses of that place, like how expensive or how cheap it is. What are the transportation which are cheap rather than do, going for something expensive. Also, at the same time, uh, see, adventure is good, but not preparing and just coming out with the hunt for adventure, like Jo Hoga Dekha Jayega, doesn't in reality works well. And this is what I am saying out of my own experience, okay? There has been time when I just took my bag and like, let's see what happened. But at the end of the day, not having a basic idea is a very bad idea. So have your plans ready. It's not important that you have to 
religiously follow all the itinerary but have a basic plan before you come out of your house to make your journey to make your solo trips more memorable up next tip number 4 drinking now i am not going to tell you do not go for drinking even though i am not a drinker i don't drink but drinking is something that most people make mistakes when you are traveling alone you are your own responsibility right when you are traveling solo you are free you can do anything so if you have any kind of restrictions at your place if you like oh my god i am going to drink it to the to like i don't know to hell that's a big no no that's a big mistake you know you're not aware where you are how people will be they could be good they could be bad you have no idea and also you should take yourself back from the place of drinking to your hotel or homestay or whatever wherever you are staying so drinking cautiously drinking to the limits that you know you will be able to take care of yourself that is important and with that i have come to the last and the final fifth point being too much polite yes this point this tip is from my personal experience i'm telling you what i mean is it's okay when you are traveling alone to be a little firm probably maybe you are in a cafe someone wants to hang out with you you are not comfortable so it's okay but make sure you're not hurting anyone's feeling being too harsh and too polite both doesn't works so the idea is to keep firm have a balance in your emotion and your uh, communication if you if if you do not like something firmly say no and that works okay and if you do not like a place you can just say thank you uh, see you later and you can just leave you will be coming across people who will not understand that too much polite languages yes especially when you are traveling alone being a woman yes so all the steps i'm sharing it's from my own experience i'm telling you guys so it's important you being firm do not hurt anyone's feeling but not being too polite that's it that's it and it works these are my five tips five mistakes to avoid when you are traveling solo and i hope this will help you please keep it in mind keep a little journal whenever you are watching my tips videos i'm sure see all these things that i uh, make tips videos are from my own experience there's a waterfall going on that's why this sound ah that's if i can show you yeah it's pretty fun you know when you are like making a video and this is kind of nature these are not disturbance i call these are like addition a background music so yes that's it and out of my own experience i have been sharing with you guys this tips do let me know in the comment what was your first mistake on your first solo trip do let me know in the comment section i'll pinpoint one of my another mistake so yes and if you love watching my videos if you love uh contents adventurous contents and solo contents then do subscribe this channel by hitting the red subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss a video whenever i post see you next time on another video till then take care enjoy travel more